Hi everyone, it's wonderful to see you all here. Today, I'm going to talk about galaxies, black holes, and why science is an adventure. I'm Reina Reyes, and I'm an astrophysicist. Astrophysicists study the stars, the planets, the galaxies, and the universe as a whole. The key point that I want to tell you today is that, that science is not a collection of facts in a book that we have questions and answers and that's it. Science is actually a work in progress. A few weeks ago, your teachers asked you for questions to ask me and I got all great questions. There were questions about the planets, questions about the stars, questions about the universe, and all of them were great. I won't have time to answer all of them, but what I did was picked out three questions to demonstrate different kinds of questions in science. So we start with the easy questions. The easy questions, I call them easy because they have a straightforward answer. It doesn't mean that it's easy to answer, but we have an answer that is straightforward. For example, this question by one of you, how big is the Milky Way galaxy? The Milky Way galaxy is the galaxy we live in. And because we live in it, we live inside it, we cannot take a picture of it. But we can observe the stars around us and we can figure out how it looks like. And it looks like this, it's a spiral galaxy and we live in one of the arms of the galaxy. By doing these measurements, we're able to figure out how big it is. How big is it? From one side to the other, it's 100,000 light years. That means that light, which travels very fast, would take 100,000 years to cross the galaxy. In more human scale, in kilometers, it is actually a million trillion kilometers. So that's one with 18 zeros after it. That's how big your galaxy is. And with better measurements, we can get a more accurate measure of the size of our galaxy and how it actually looks, looks like. We can map it better and better. And that's how we improve um, our knowledge. Now, there's a second kind of question that's harder to answer. So in this case, we have an idea for the answer, but it's incomplete. And part of the work of scientists is to make this more complete kind of question like this is another question from you. How did the Milky Way galaxy form? How did it come about? And we have an idea. We have the laws of physics um, that tell us how a galaxy can form. And in fact, we can put this in a computer and um, simulate how a galaxy forms. Um, scientists in Zurich made this computer simulation, a video that I'm going to show you now, that starts few million years after the Big Bang, 14 billion years ago, where you have clumps of gas that will fall together because of gravity. These clumps come together and form what will be the beginning of a galaxy like the Milky Way. Over time, matter gets attracted to it, a disk starts to form. So you have a small galaxy 10 billion years ago. Over time, more and more mass more and more gas comes in and the galaxy grows until it builds into a galaxy looks like the Milky Way where we live in today. Well, the key point I want to make about this is that it's not the real thing yet. So there are actually things here that are just guesses and we want to figure out um, how it really is. So. This is part of what scientists do. We want to improve our models until they look more and more like the universe that we observe. And this is science as a work in progress. So that's the second type of question. We have an answer and we, we are working to improve this answer over time. But then there's a third kind of question and it's what I'm calling impossible to answer at the moment. So these are questions where our theories are not even equipped to answer them and we can only have speculative answers. It's 
interesting that many of you ask this question, what happens when you fall into a black hole? It's something a kid can ask, but any scientist cannot answer. Our theories, our equations break down at the center of the black hole, and we just don't know what happens next. We do have an idea what happens as you go into the black hole. Now, the black hole is an object that has very strong gravity that even light cannot escape once it goes within a certain distance, the event horizon around the black hole. If you imagine falling to the black hole, what happens is you have an astronaut falling into a black hole. The gravity on his feet is much, much stronger than the gravity in his head. It gets pulled apart like a spaghetti. And we have an idea what happens, what he sees, but at the very center, the singularity where matter is so dense, we don't know what happens. These kinds of questions are questions that are still up for grabs. That is, in the future, one few, one person will come along and come up with a theory that will extend the theories that we have now, and then we can start to answer these questions that are not possible to answer at the moment. So I hope that gives you a flavor of what science is. Science is a work in progress. We have questions and we try to figure out the answers, which often leads to more questions that over time we can increase, increase our understanding of the universe. But there's so much more to find out and everyone is invited to come along for the ride. Thank you for your time.